With this video, I'd like to try to better explain how to go about doing the assignment for lab. And again, here's our grid with a lot of spot elevations. Just so we can review this, this 9.75 elevation would be at this corner here. This 9.95 would be at this corner here. This 10.15 here, here for 10.55. 11.05 and this 12.20 would be in that location and so on and so forth. So where do we go from here? When we're looking for to do interpolation, we're using that equation so that we can be able to locate where there are whole numbers with this equation of proportion. So when we're doing this, number one is we want to find out where there are whole numbers. And you ask yourself, this is 9.75, this is 9.95. The number is bigger, so we must be going uphill. And we have not gotten out of the nine number range. We're getting higher, but we haven't gotten to 10 yet. So there is no whole number to be found here. So if you needed to, just make a little X here with pencil so you can erase it. I'm doing it in pen. Maybe I should do it in pencil. And... Um, then you're going to ask yourself the same question between the next two set of spot elevations, 9.95 and 10.15. Let us remember that these spot elevations were provided to us. They're, they're just given pieces of data and uh, we don't have to worry about where they came from or anything else at this point. So we're continuing to go uphill and now we've gone beyond the nine foot range and we're up to 10 foot. So somewhere between 9.95 and 10.15 is the elevation of 10. And so at this point, when we've determined that, we are going to see about where there, the number 10 is. Okay, let us also remember that when we are doing this, that these grids are on a 10 foot square shape. So if you look at your 10 scale, this is from zero to this dash line is 10 feet. And from this zero to this next spot elevation is another 10 feet. And if it doesn't mat measure perfectly, let's just go with that assumption. So let us also remember that this distance here is 10 feet, just also happens to be the same number as this, but each one of these is 10 feet apart. And so no matter in which direction you're going, whether it be across or if we're going to go between these lines, this is all 10 feet. And this 10 foot represents our big D. The distance between any of these spot elevations is 10 feet. For this example, that remains constant. Okay, so before we go any further, let us kind of use this piece of paper here on my pad. And we are going to use... The interpolation equation, little e over big E equals little d over big D. What we're typically trying to do is we are going to be wanting to solve for little d. And if we're solving for little d, we can reduce this equation to little d equals little e times big D because we would cross multiply. And that would be divided by big E because little because we cross multiply these and try to get the little the big E over on one side and the little D somewhere else. So this is what we're always trying to achieve, or you can do it this way, whichever math equation is correct. So if we're looking at this example right here, what we want to do is I'm gonna go back to a uh, black pen here because I'm sure, sure it will show up better, that we are looking for the 10 elevation here. And so we wanna find the 10 elevation as it relates to one of these spot elevations. And that's how we get our little e. So we're going to go 10.15 minus 10.00 equals 0 0.15. That is our intermediate elevation change equals little e. Our big e is going to be the elevation change between the two spot elevations, 10.15 and 9.0. 9.5 minus 9.95. And if you do that math, it should be 0 plus 0 0.20. And that is our big E. And so we've got this number now. We've got this number. And as I said before, this big D is always going to be 10 feet. So that's the size of our grid. So now all we need to do is 
add these numbers in to the little e we decided was 0 0.15, multiply by dig d, big D, it's 10 feet, divided by the big E, which is 0 0.20. All right, now to get my handy dandy little phone here, which I seem to have misplaced. Let me find it on my desk somewhere. Where did I put that down? Um, hmm, where did my phone go? I think I do have, though, a calculator. So we will pull out the handy dandy calculator and I don't, here we go. Let's do the calculator then. We'll put the calculator on. Where is the on button? on button. Okay, so we are going to do 0.15 times 10 that equals, so it's 1.5, and now we have to divide that by 0.2. And our little d winds up equating to 7.5 feet. And that is going to be the distance, d is for distance, e is for elevation, that we have to measure with our scale from the number that we got our little e from, which happened to be the 10.15 elevation. So we're gonna go down to our drawing, and I don't know which way it's better, maybe I'll do it this way. And we are going to measure seven and a half feet from this spot where the 10.15 is, and make a dot. And that is exactly where the 10 is. And if you wanted to, you can Put 10 and circle it so you know where it is. You're going to now continue this whole venture and go across, go between 10.15 and 10.55. Is there a whole number to be found? No, we're going, we continue to go uphill, but we don't ever get to 11 or we don't go back down to nine. So there isn't anything there. So if you just want to make sure you know where you went, you can put an X there and then go back and erase it. The next two numbers, 10.55 and 11.05, Ooh, we're going up, but we went past 11, so we are looking for 11. We're going to use the same equation. And now what we can do is, let me see, we're gonna, I'm hoping that you actually saw that original one there, is for this one now, we're going to do little d equals, and we have to find the little e. Little e is going to be 11.05 minus 10.55 equals, what is that going to be? That's going to be 0 0.10. The big E is going to be, oh no, I lie. That's the big E. That's the big E. The little E is going to be 11.05 minus 11.00. That's what we're looking for, 0 0.05. And as I mentioned before, the big D remains as a constant, 10 feet. So, the little d is going to be 0 0.05 over a my, times 10 feet divided by 0 0.10. And when we do this number here, we're gonna now clear this. Where's the clear button? We need to see. <sighs> Way too many buttons. Okay, so let's do this math now. 0 0.05 times 10 equals, and then we're going to divide that by 0.1 equals, and the answer here for little d is 5 feet. That means that we have to measure 5 feet from the number that we got the little e from, and the little e came from 11.05. So now we're going to go back to our drawing. We're gonna to go to the 11.05, we're gonna measure five feet from it, we're going to make a mark, and that is where the 11 is. We're going to go between 11.05 and 12.20. Is there a whole number to be found here? Well, by golly, there is. There should be a 12 somewhere here. So we could, with our pencil, say, where is 12? And we're going to go through the same process again. I'm going to just move this piece of paper up so that hopefully you can see it. Maybe I'll turn it over here, do it this way. So again, we have to find the little e. The little e is going to be determined by taking the elevation change between one of the spot elevations. And in this case, I'm gonna use 12.20. 
and subtracted from the whole number we're looking for, 12, which gives us a 0 0.20. That is the elevation change between 12.20 and 12. The big E, on the other hand, is going to be 12.20, subtracted from the other spot elevation, which happens to be 11.05, and we are going to get a number, and that should be 1.15. And as I had mentioned to you before, the big D remains a constant for this grid system, which is 10. So now let us put this in the equation. Little d equals 0 0.20 times 10 divided by, what is it going to be? 1.15. I had to find my numbers again, okay? We're going to take our calculator. I did find clear here. We're going to do 0.2 times 10 equals and divide that now by 1.15 and we get an answer it equals 1.74 feet. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. So what that means we need to do is we need to measure 1.74 feet from what number? From which of these spot elevations? the spot elevation that we got for the little e. So now we take our scale, we're going to measure one and three quarters foot, which is just a little bit before two. We're gonna make a dot there, and that is where 12 is going to be. You are going to continue doing this, okay? And finding the exact locations of all the other whole numbers. The intent here is that once you've done so, that you'll be able to connect the numbers, all of the 10s, all the 11s, and all the 12s, and by and when you've completed this assignment, they will in turn form some kind of landform. So what you can do here is go between 9.95 and 10.25 and say, yes, in fact, there is the whole number of 10. I am just gonna hypothetically put it somewhere in the vicinity. You're gonna have to do the math, but just for here, it would be 10. You can circle it. You can also say to yourself, where does it tend? Does it tend belong between these two points? And by golly, it certainly does. It'll probably be somewhere here. And perhaps, just perhaps, the 10 goes here. Where it goes from here, we'll have to do a little further research. There's 10.45 and 9.95 here. And I have a feeling that that's where the 10 goes. Um then you're going to see 10.25 to 10.75. There's no whole number there, no whole number here. 10.75 to 11.25. Oh, yes, there is. And it's going to be somewhere probably in this vicinity. So you can put the number 11 here. And you can then do the math for between these two pieces. And it probably is going to be somewhere in this nature here. There's going to be an 11 missing. And the idea then would be to connect that 11. Where the 11 goes is going to be dependent on what happens in between these two numbers. And so between 10.75 and 12.50 should be actually two whole numbers. There should be somewhere here an 11 and somewhere here a 12. And this is how the whole thing goes. You're going to be doing 11 and a 12 is probably something of this nature. And where they go from here, really not quite certain. And I am very honest with that because I just made this up and uh, this was an exercise just for you to get a lot of practice doing this interpolation. I do hope this helps. Let's see what happens.